If you're facing a question mark folder like this on your Mac, then you came to the right place. So just a little bit of a background on this. Apple uses UEFI, which stands for a Unified Extensible Firmware Interface to connect the internal parts of the Mac with the operating system. The very beginning of this process is stored inside of what Apple calls NVRAM, which stands for Non-Volatile Random Access Memory. So what does this mean? In short, the question mark folder is a default animation for a missing operating system. The Mac has looked at the last used boot up record and can't find it. The Mac then looked in all places and has found nothing that is bootable by the UEFI. Why does this happen? Well, for three main reasons. A failed update or corrupt NVRAM setting file that points to the drive. The second reason, a hard drive cable uh, is loose or is bad. Very common in older MacBook Pros. And third reason, the hard drive is going bad itself or is just on its way out. Very common for mechanical drives. Now, what do we do to fix it? The first thing you can do to determine if this can be a quick fix is to shut down the Mac and as soon as you press the power button press and hold the option key keep holding it until you see the mouse and some drives if you don't see any drives but you see the mouse that means the drive cable or the drive itself is bad and needs replacement if you see two drives Click the drive that's labeled Macintosh HD or Macintosh SSD or Untitled, not the drive labeled Recovery. If the unit boots up, great. You can now restart the unit and perform an NVRAM reset and everything should be back to normal. If the unit is stuck on the loading screen for longer than five minutes and will not boot, restart the Mac and select the Recovery Partition and boot into that. This is for older gray screen question mark folder Macs. For newer Macs 2013 to current, press and hold down option command in the R keys after pressing the power button to launch a hidden uh, par recovery partition, which is part of the APFS recovery um, partition system. Once in the recovery GUI, open disk utility, select your main drive, and perform a permission repair and disk repair uh, one after the other or in newer operating systems just a standard repair. Restart the unit and try to boot into the main drive again. If this doesn't work and you can't get any partition to boot it's time to replace the entire hard drive. If it's an older MacBook then replace the hard drive cable at the same time. When replacing the drive completely, you'll need to watch a video on how to restore your Mac to an empty drive. Replacing a failed drive should be a choice to make when fixing the question mark issue. Reformatting the failed drive will cause the same issue to happen over time. So replacement is the only real answer. Reinstall a new operating system onto a new hard drive without using the recovery partition from the failed drive. You can find the video on how to do that on our website, appledollars.com. I hope this video gave you a good introduction uh, to the question mark folder issue and has helped you understand how to fix it. Thank you very much for watching.